Brown admits he pulled a gun, demanded money, and shot Joseph when he tried to drive off, then accidentally shot Jocelyn. The couple leaves behind five children. Holy shit! Ah! People from all around the world walking across lines. I know what will happen if I fall off and die, and I accept that. I'd rather live every moment like it's my last. I might die today. That's okay, because I will have a good time doing it. <laughs> I am not committed to anybody to work full time. I'm committed to myself for having fun. There ain't nothing better than a women's pantsuit. I feel like we're all the most stoked to just be here with one another. <laughs> but we definitely have our disagreements. Blame it on us, huh? You guys are bitching at me the whole time. I don't know who's shitting your cornflakes this morning, bud, but come back with a better attitude. We need this to just stop. We might battle each other, but always have the back of everybody else on the team. It's snowing pretty hard right now. I don't care about the snow. Let's go. Accidents happen. It is scary to date somebody that I lines. There's always a chance you're not going to see them come back. <sighs> Sorry. Jonathan and Reginald Carr. The Carr brothers were sentenced to death for the four killings, including robbery and rape. One man murdered them all, alleged serial killer Joseph Brand. Jody Johnson shot and burned in the Desire neighborhood. A botanist is fatally stabbed in her Bywater home. And the next month, Kirsten Brydam, a social activist from San Francisco, is robbed of her bicycle and shot. 29-year-old Bakari Moncrief is being held on a $10 million bond for the capital murder of 43-year-old Sarmitha Sen. <laughs> A memorial of running shoes were left at the place where Sen would go running every morning. 23-year-old Nkozi Thandiwa is convicted of murdering Brittany Watts because she was white. Tiffany Ferenci was shot in the torso. The shooting also left Lauren Garcia paralyzed.